What's up guys? So I'm actually at a lake right now. I fished this lake a ton of times and it's actually owned by a local college. So it's closed right now because college days are over for the summer. Um, I've got these sunglasses, which I got at the thrift store. Shout out Spring Fling 2013. And uh, I've got the dad, the dad shorts on right now. So just flaunting the legs like a true individual. All right, so what we're gonna do is today is another episode of fishing with and today we're fishing with this it looks like a pile of pool noodles because it is but it's also a pile of pool noodles that i tied together with paracord so uh, i laced it all around i tied it straight through by putting a hole through some of the noodles and we're going to see how it works um this is a boat technically I could say but I don't think it is uh, good enough to qualify as a boat so I'm gonna have to downgrade it to a raft so yeah we're gonna try this out I came specifically to this lake honestly to avoid public humiliation because some of the other lakes that I would go to would be pretty busy today because it's Friday and it's the beginning of Memorial Day weekend as I'm filming this so I'm hoping there's not gonna be a ton of people here I don't even know if I'm allowed to be here because the fence is closed but I know that it's technically open because it's a body of water. I can be here any daylight hour. I'm also gonna wear a PFD, which is a life jacket, personal flotation device. So hopefully I'm following all laws. And if they get upset at me, I'll just get off the water and cry a little. So, all right, let's get out there and see if I can catch a fish. That's the goal for today. Fishing with a pool noodle raft, seeing if I can catch something. Let's go do it. PFD, pool noodle boat, right here fishing rod and half a paddle and I hope I don't lose this paddle that would be not ideal All right. <laughs> prediction it's not gonna go well So I've noticed a few things. I have my wallet, my keys, and my phone. I forgot to leave them in the car. So hopefully I don't lose those. Second, I have one lure. I have a um, Zoom finesse worm and one hook. I forgot to bring my, my uh, bag. So hopefully I can catch something with this because I don't feel like walking all the way back up the hill sitting on this raft so far my butt's wet already and I'm not even out of the shallow so definitely gonna get wet not high quality by any means <laughs> all right let's try something else here All right, so not everything's going according to plan, but that's okay. Got one. Oh man. 
There we go. <laughs> Oh man. Honestly, I uh, don't think I can get this hook out because uh, normally I would try to get it behind his gill, but he's not very big, so it's kind of tough to get it there. So I think I'm just going to have to pull the uh, worm out. And break the line and then I guess I'll call it a day which is kind of sad I should have brought more supplies I feel kind of bad about that but I should have brought my pliers first of all so I came unprepared but hopefully he'll be okay I don't have any other hooks I do have the worm still but I don't have any more hooks so Yeah, I caught one bass. Really? Yeah, but it got gut hooked, so I had to. I couldn't get the hook out, so I just cut the line. So I don't have a hook anymore. All right, guys, so I thought about going back out. I'm at my car right now. Thought about going back out, getting another hook and some tackle from my uh, bag that's in my car. But the thing is, I don't want to, so I'm not going to. And I think that I proved the point. Here it is. I have a couple different categories that I wanted to judge boats that I make by. Crowd pleaser. Maybe an 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. That's what I think. Because it uh, definitely got some attention. When I got out of the water, those girls asked me if I caught anything. And I was definitely splashing a lot. A couple different categories I wanted to go by. Crowd pleaser. I'll give it an 8. Got a lot of crowd pleasing going on. Hots. Hots. That means, does this look hot? Is it a good looking boat? I'll give it a 4 out of 10. If you guys think different ratings than me, feel free to put them in the comments. Floats. Does it float? I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 because it was not very good. It uh, barely kept me out of the water. My butt was wet the whole time and as I moved, I slowly got completely drenched from the waist down as you can see. Speedy. 1 out of 10. I paddled for a long time. Durable. I tied this thing together with 30 pool noodles, one dollar each, and like two and a half packs of uh, paracord for about five dollars each. So I spent forty-five dollars on this thing, and it's still together. I paddled it out there. I'm gonna give it like a eight out of ten. Comfy. It was pretty comfy, I have to say, but my back kind of got tired after uh, swimming for so long because it doesn't give you any support. So, just because there was no support and my back got tired, I'm going to give it a 6. So we've got a grand total of 12, 14, 15, 23, 29, out of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 60. Not very good. I hope that that counting is correct. 29 out of 60. And uh, I'm going to think of some other boats that you can buy. Hopefully or build um, for less than $50 is the, is the aim, is to build boats for less than $50. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out different ways to do that. I've got at least one more idea on the back burner right now that I'll be working on for a video in the future. And I actually have more hopes for that one than I do for this one. So we'll see what happens. 29 out of 60, let's see if we can beat it with the next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to, you can subscribe to my YouTube or comment below and I'll get back to you.